there's no jobs and there's no food. This virus is literally an x-ray into society where we very clearly see what our priorities are, who they are, and who they are not. Even when there's help available, it normally gets to us when it's too late. When we think about what that means as a nation that is becoming increasingly more black and brown, really food justice matters. We've learned that we have to build systems that will lend to helping ourselves in times such as these. We are giving out 80 boxes of fresh fruits and vegetables. We serve as not only just the community, but those who are in need. We get calls for families who just went into a shelter, who are waiting for public assistance, who need emergency food. We get calls for seniors who just got out of the hospital, who need food to get started until they can get services for themselves. We are on our way to the market to fill up this van with food. To me, the COVID crisis is symptomatic of three larger viruses. The virus of racism, the virus of greed, and the virus of corruption. And this virus is literally an x-ray into society where we very clearly see what our priorities are, who they are, and who they are not. If you're food challenged in the first place, imagine what it's like now with supermarkets not opening, with people not being able to get out, and with no access to fresh food. That really impacts communities of color. We receive fresh fruits and vegetables from the Green Bronx Machine, where we distribute every Friday and or Saturdays. We're able to deliver healthy, fresh, nutritionally dense food 20 stories up to senior citizens living here in public housing. When we think about what that means as a nation that is becoming increasingly more black and brown, really food justice matters. In public housing, it is so dense, 45,000 people in eight square blocks. So with restricted hours, you've got lines in supermarkets for hours. And what do you do by default? You go to the gas station, you know, and you're getting boxes of Pop-Tarts and bags of chips. You know, you're going to the drugstore. It is just insane to see. The greatest way to boost your immunity is to have access to healthy, fresh food. And what are we seeing less of? Less of the availability of healthy, fresh food. We've got amazing collard greens coming on strong. We've got broccoli getting ready to bloom. We've got gorgeous flowers. We've got pepper. Has helped me and my family a great deal because this is Red Springs has fresh vegetables every weekend. We're telling people to take extra precautions in our community because we know that even if there's a vaccine for COVID-19, we're probably gonna be at the bottom of the list for people who will get the vaccine, even though we're at the top of the list when it comes to the amount of people 
that are affected. The more we abdicate this work towards nonprofits, the more we are taking the responsibility off policy, off procedure. The work that we're doing daily should not be the exception. It should be the norm.